are live from the Festival of South Asia. Joining us right now is Anjali Sue. Am I saying that correctly? Anjali. Like Anjali. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We have three different pronouncers here. I'm going to gamble with the one that ended up being wrong. <laughs> that's fine. But uh, thank you so much for no joining problem. us. No problem. Thank you. So you have sort of a, a big moniker today. I guess you're sort of an event spokesperson. Uh, we get, we are lucky enough to get to tour a lot of things. The taste of Danforth, the taste of this, the taste of that. We get to this, taste a lot of things. Yeah, we do get to taste a lot of things. This one is probably the most uh, unique in the sense that you're going to get the most uh, flavorful foods. You're going to get the most, uh, I would say, extreme amounts of culture. You get the most different stuff here, right? You're going to see things you don't see in any other part of the city. Right. So uh, if you were talking to members of Toronto mm. community who don't already know of this area, what, what would you say is the big hooks here? Why should you come? Color, tradition, uh, culture, and I think I would also say delicious food. Uh, especially the masala stuff, you know, you have to come out, you have to try the masala corn. It's amazing, it's really, really spicy, and uh, it's barbecue corn. That's like one of the specialties, I think, of Gerard India Bazaar. And then, of course, we've got the main stage, the TDE Canada Trust stage, and uh, I'll be hosting a bunch of events all day, a lot of presentations. We have different dance groups, different cultural groups, and it's going to be a lot of Bollywood flavor. And I know people, because of Slumdog Millionaire, are really yeah, familiar with suddenly, it. Yeah, suddenly everyone knows. Oh, Bollywood, exploded. yeah, I'm familiar. Okay, yes. Right. So, like that, there's a lot of color. There's a lot of different things happening at one time. Amazing music. It's very lively, I think, and very entertaining. So, definitely something to come out and check out. It's always nice to see what's going on in Toronto. Toronto is such a multicultural city. Yeah. So, just to experience that, whether it be, you know, the Taste of Danforth or whatever, but really, I mean, when you go there and you look around and taste the Danforth, well, yeah, it's great, but I mean, you don't see people wearing any sort of different clothing, usually, right, that's anyway. True, that's and then true. here it's a lot more colorful. You see a lot more jewelry, a lot more exotic uh, metal, uh, whether it be a, a necklace or a bracelet, right to like somebody on a, on a chariot moving around here selling that's stuff. True. You really do see some unique special things here. Uh, so, uh, you would say the big folks are just the, the food and just you need to come well, see the area you know what? at once? I think, I think definitely everything is a spectacle here, right? You yes. have to see a store, you have to walk in, the vendors are amazing. You have to go in and just see the kinds of clothing we do wear. You're right, I take it for granted because I'm wearing it right now, but uh, definitely it's, it's, it's a sight to see, I think. And every little piece of embroidery, there's embroidery on bags here shopping bag yeah, yeah, you know if you ever wanted to recycle and make a statement at the same time you can find something here definitely. Good style sure. oh yeah for sure and just mirror work and everything a lot of it is handmade so a lot of handcrafted goods and i of course am partial to food yeah. and the dancing is amazing i was gonna say you mentioned bollywood earlier so people go oh i know bollywood people in dancing. dancing and yeah. singing uh, is that what we're going to see today? Oh yes, definitely. We've already kicked it off with our event at PM. So we're going until 11 tonight and it's going to be a lot of music, a lot of dancing. We have Bhangra, we have a group coming in. We have traditional elements of dance from different states uh, in India and South Asia. And then we also have actually a group coming all the way from Rajasthan. And they are going to be performing uh, dance, which is uh, kind of like a gypsy dance. And it's coming in the desert, that's the color of the costume. Uh, the dancers are described as self-sized, kind of like a culture. So, different types of different postures, different things, all very easily. It's really exciting. So, I, I, I have kind of a little bit of a thing, but... Yeah, that's not the most, yeah, okay, all right. What she meant was, you know, the movement is very seductive, very hypnotic, there you go, and you just get mesmerized, you can't help but watch it. And your eyes are definitely going to the stage. Last night we had a great turnout, and I think I'm expecting it. I think it's going to definitely just get better and better because you're on it. So definitely everybody come out and check out. Nightlife is a big deal. A lot of these cases of this and that, they shut down at 8 p.m. It's not like right. you guys are already. Yeah, we like to party. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah there'll be an after after after, after yeah. party. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. We're going to be keeping it going until 11 p.m. So make sure you check it out. If you're driving in the downtown area, you definitely want to stop by Gerard. There you go. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. When we return, uh, we got a couple more topics to tick off. Uh, the one I want to talk about was the CNE. I'll give you some tips about uh, how to uh, win at the CNE. If you're ever wondering how you can beat those carny games, I have a couple of hints. They almost banned me when I come. I clean them out, and I'll tell you. A carny told me a few simple tri tricks, and I'll tell you what they are when we return. I also want to talk about uh, litter.
streets in Toronto, the number one and two uh, items littered in the city of Toronto, they probably won't surprise you at all. We'll be back with that as well. And then after the news at five, we'll tell you how to be a good host or guest uh, this coming fall. We'll talk to the author of a successful new book and show have all sorts of uh, horror stories and tips for you. So listen to the Ben Versus Show on News Content 10, CFRB. Okay, 10, 10, no more. Yes,